The popular BBC crime drama Baptiste is a slick example of layered and intriguing screenwriting and storytelling, but I couldn't help notice the severe slight on a pagan influence celebration in the latest series, which is set in Hungary and largely in the beautiful city of Budapest. But the series delves into the murky world of far-right extremism as the titular character searches for the British ambassador's missing sons. It would be fair to say that Budapest, which is a jewel of a city, is not shown in its best light in this production. And, for some reason, the series' antagonist is portrayed on threatening viral videos wearing a Buzo mask. This relates to the pagan-influenced Central European and, in particular, Hungarian Buzo Yarash festival. I feel that this association is nothing short of libelous on the Buzo Yarash tradition, although it does make for an interesting story. But what was and is Buso Yarash? The folk celebration, which is also observed in parts of Serbia and Croatia, is an annual event and is part of the traditions of the South Slavic Sochki people in Mahaks, Hungary, and involves dressing up in fearsome, hairy, horned beast costumes in February in the run-up to Ash Wednesday. There is more than one theory about the origin of the practice. One dates back to the time of the occupation of the area by Ottoman Turkish forces in the abortive 1687 campaign, rather than the more successful earlier invasion by Suleiman the Magnificent in 1526. As the Sultan's troops approached, the locals were said to have abandoned the town and fled to woodland and swamp areas. According to legend, they were encamped one night by a fire when an elderly man approached and entreated them, don't be afraid, your lives will soon turn to good and you'll return to your homes. Until that time, prepare for the battle, carve various weapons and scary masks for yourselves and wait for a stormy night when a masked knight will come to you. The mysterious messenger then disappeared, but the townsfolk followed his orders. Later, on a stormy night, the promised knight arrived, and, as instructed, the refugees donned their costumes, took up their arms, and returned to Mohacs in a loud reconquest of the town. Alarmed by the incursion, it was the Ottomans' turn to flee in terror, believing they were under attack by demons. Another, earlier version of the story holds that the Buzos, as the costumed host became known, were attempting to shoo away winter itself rather than the Turkish invaders. This latter, more primal version of the story has similarity with other Slavic traditions, such as the Balkan Kolodari's Kolodovane dance, which is still enacted in Bulgaria in December and involves energetic dancing, loud chanting and the playing of instruments by costume participants to scare away supernatural winter entities like werewolves, ghosts and vampires and, more generally, winter itself. <laughs> The Buzo's masks are also similar in appearance to the Bavarian and Austrian myth of Krampus. Belief in this demonic horned anthropomorphized goat character is also a tradition in Hungary and some other Central European countries. The terrifying creature is said to punish children who have misbehaved in the period before Christmas. He is a companion and dark mirror of St Nicholas who, it is said, rewards well-behaved children. However terrifying these folk costumes may appear, they do not deserve to be associated with modern-day extremist politics. They are part of a rich Central European heritage. More on these traditions and others can be found in my book, Dark Secrets of Central Europe, A Tale of Three Cities, which is linked in the description below. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And thank you for watching.